a little bit of a change in presentation. We're going to have a five minute video now. And Dr. Margaret Chan, who is serving her second term as Director General of the World Health Organization, will speak to us to say that simple things change and save lives. Simple things save lives. I invite you to watch and listen to Dr. Chan. The fact that so many women die because of complications of pregnancy and childbirth is a tragedy. The fact that most of these deaths could have been prevented by very simple things turned this tragedy into a scandal. Let's start with the single biggest cause of maternal mortality, postpartum bleeding. A single injection of oxytocin stops it. Infections are another killer. Inexpensive antibiotics can treat them. Soap and water help prevent them. Unsafe deliveries kill. WHO has developed a safe childbirth checklist, modeled on what airline pilots use before takeoff and landing, as a way of improving the quality of care. It is a simple checklist, and it works. A study of the checklist, conducted at a hospital in India, demonstrated a 150% increase in adherence to accepted clinical practices for maternal and perinatal care. WHO estimates that maternal deaths could drop by 30% worldwide if all women who want to use modern contraceptives could get them. The UN Commission on Life-Saving Commodities for Women and Children identified 13 life-saving interventions that are vastly underutilized. Many cost just pennies. The Commission estimated that scaling up access to these interventions would save more than 6 million lives by 2015. That's a huge potential, but it faces a huge barrier. The real reason the scandal continues is lack of political will. The low social status of women, their poor education and poverty. This includes the poverty of health systems that lack staff, equipment, medicines, blood banks, and even electricity and running water. All of the evidence tells us that maternal mortality will not go down until more women have access to skilled attendance at birth and emergency obstetric care. All of these simple things will have no impact in the absence of systems for making them readily available and affordable. They will have no impact in the absence of political will. This is the reason why I am personally so strongly committed to the goal of universal health coverage. No one, no one should be denied access to life-saving interventions for unfair reasons, including those with economic causes. The fact that so many countries have adopted universal coverage as their overarching health goal gives us our best hope yet that maternal deaths can be soundly and sustainably prevented. Simple things save lives, especially when backed by a fair and inclusive system for their delivery. Thank you. <laughs> 